figured I would show you how I do my swarm traps. Um, I probably should have brought a camera stand, but I never even thought about it. Anyways, this is a swarm trap that uh, is here on my property. I don't always necessarily put them up high in trees, and I'll tell you why. Last year I caught five swarms, and almost all of them were close to the ground like this one. So let me go ahead and show you how I do this. And I neglected to bring a stand for my camera, so got to do this one-handed. And that's going to make it a little bit difficult. Anyways, what I do is I put some Q-tips in my pocket. And then I use lemongrass oil. So the trick here is I usually put two Q-tips in each uh, swarm trap. And since I got to do this one-handed, I'll just put two Q-tips to the side here. Open this jar of lemongrass oil up, one-handed. That lid's on pretty tight. <laughs> and let me set the phone down for just a second. All right, so once you got the jar open, what I normally do is I just put some lemongrass oil on both ends of the Q-chip. Couple drops. Then the next thing I do, I just drop them into the swarm trap. I usually put one kind of close to the front and the other one kind of close to the back. I really need to remember to start bringing my camera mounts. So you can see I've got a couple of frames in there. You can see there's actually still Q-tips down there from last year. And you can actually see that I stuck a frame in there that's got some wax on it. Those are actually still in there from last year. I basically left this trap out all year. So I usually do like one in the back, one in the corner, one in the front corner. One in the back corner, one in the front corner. And that is pretty much all that I do for swarm traps. Now, I've probably got six or seven of these sitting around the property and sometimes i will put them up higher but you know that one's probably only i don't know two feet off the ground to the top of it so they don't necessarily always have to be in trees what i generally do is i just you know wherever it looks like a good place if i see a lot of bee activity in an area on the property and i don't think that you know uh that it will attract my own bees over to it, then I'll set a swarm trap there. That's pretty much how I do it. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. So anyways, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this video if you found the information useful. Uh, I try to always put up a lot of content about the homestead, how I try to grow or raise or harvest or forage 80% of all the food that I eat. And a lot of those videos are beekeeping because, in all honesty, beekeeping is one of the most enjoyable things that I do uh, on the homestead. So if you like that kind of content, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.